Hi everyone, Peter here from Movement and Performance. In this presentation, we're going to be talking about force vectors. So we're going to be talking about what exactly we mean by force vectors, and then what implications this has, um, so that we can choose exercises in our training so that they can maximally transfer to sporting performance. So what are force vectors? Essentially, we're talking about the direction in which force is applied. So we can do uh, exercises in our in our training that emphasize specific directions. So we can have vertically oriented exercises, horizontally, laterally, or even rotational um, emphasized exercises. So why is this important? What's the significance of um, the direction of the exercise? So essentially, it's a form of specificity. So exercises that have um, a specific direction are going to transfer more to um, exercises, uh, sorry, sports that sort of include movements in that direction. So we've got some examples here to uh, make this point a bit more clear. Um, a horizontal versus a vertical jump and the effects that will have on sprint performance would assume that horizontal type jumping will have more transfer to sprint performance than vertical jumping because um, horizontal exercises, they are, um, the forces produce horizontally, as is uh, when we're sprinting. So a squat versus a hip thrust for vertical jump performance would assume that the squats will have greater transfer to vertical jump performance because of the direction, even though they're both strength exercises um, emphasizing similar muscle groups. So to make that point more clear, that last example, we if we do a back squat, we have vertical force application. Obviously, the velocity is not specific, neither is the loading. However, the direction is. And so the transfer of that will be greater to vertical jump uh, performance than if we did another strength exercise like a hip thrust with a horizontal um, force emphasis. So what does this mean for our training um, and our programming? Essentially, we need to make sure we apply the force vector theory um, in order to enhance transfer to specific qualities, like for example, sprinting, jumping, throwing, things like that. We need to um, do exercises which, um, depending on what we, want, what we want to enhance, what qualities we want to enhance, we need to um, make sure the direction of the um, exercises that we're using are similar to that of the uh, quality we're trying to enhance. Um, so we need a, a good way to do this is to pair up movements. So for example, um, and this can be in a single training session or between phases. So we might have a phase uh, where the emphasis is going to be on um, more vertical jump and strength, for example. Then we might do a lot of squatting uh, type strength exercises and lots of vertical jumps. So we can pair them up in a phase. Or if we're something like a team sport athlete where we need multiple directions that we need to um, that we need to actually train with various uh, loads and velocities, then we can do different training sessions which emphasize different uh, force vectors. So for example, if we have two, uh, two speed and power days, we might have one day where we do primary, primarily horizontal type exercises. So we might do horizontal type jumping, horizontal throwing, uh, maximal speed, that sort of thing. And then if we have a vertical training session, we can do more uh, back squatting, ver uh, vertical jumping, and then vertical throws and things like that. So that's it for this presentation, guys. Hopefully you got something out of this. Um, you can follow Movement and Performance on Facebook and Instagram with the details here. And if you haven't already, uh, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with the latest informative content that is produced. Um, on social media, if you're a curious individual that's interested in learning, and if you're watching this video, you probably are, then you can check out on Facebook and Instagram these um, research infographics, which are essentially the latest research, which is summarized into um, these easy to understand graphics, so you can stay up to date with the latest research in sports performance training. Plus, you'll also find um, some training footage of athletes in their training, and then also some short informative videos where I briefly cover um, a topic in a short video. So that's it for that. 
hopefully you guys got something out of this and thanks for watching